Now, Chinese travel companies are trying to keep up with this huge demand. Many are booking vacations with mobile apps. And the government is also doing a lot to pump up domestic terror tourism in China. Hu Yinan explains. According to China's National Tourism Administration, investment in the tourism industry reached 302 billion yuan in the first half of 2015. That's up 28 percent from the same period last year. The number of domestic tourists maintained almost double-digit growth at 2 billion in the first six months. Tourism consumption increased 14.5 percent from last year, hitting 1.65 trillion yuan. The growth speed of investment and revenue in the tourism industry has surpassed the growth of GDP in the first half of 2015. Tourism has become an important factor in pushing economic development. With the government issuing more measures to further boost the industry, I believe there is bigger space for tourism to grow. The boom in tourism also attracted investments from conglomerates. On the 3rd of July, Wanda Group announced its plans to invest 3.58 billion yuan in Tongcheng Network Technology, which is an online travel agency in China. Combined with investments from other companies, 6 billion yuan will be injected into the online travel agency to help expand its online business. The government is considering new measures to help the industry, such as easing market accessibility to vacational rentals and online car renting. By using the apps, tourists can book hotels, rent cars, order foods and other tourism-related services. In fact, based on the Internet, we have set up a complete industry chain for online travel services. The China National Tourism Administration says more investment will be channeled into the tourism industry as investment will reach 1 trillion yuan in 2015. By 2018, the amount is expected to surpass 3 trillion yuan. Huinan, CCTV.